Why are you all covered up like that? Guys, do you mind taking him in? As long as you're not in filming any of the patrons. Okay, you realize you're in front of a police station, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Are you protesting something or are you just... I, I'm not going to answer any questions. You created the situation for me to come over here. I was over there. You know what? It is not my fault that you are standing in this parking lot and recording. Okay. Okay. Don't take my picture. Don't crash. Pay attention. Who wins at the end of that day? The one with the badge, the gun, and the cuffs. No, so since we sat down with you, there will be some sort of resolution. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Uh, I am in uh, the city of San Diego, um, the section of San Carlos, and we are going to visit the County of San Diego Public Library today. I wanted to ask you guys a question. Somebody had asked me yesterday. I wanted to ask you guys a question before I get started and go in here, and I want your comment below on your answer. Um, if somebody was to give you one billion dollars right now, today, a billion dollars, which would essentially buy you freedom to do anything you want. The caveat being that in five years, uh, your life would be over. So would you trade the potential, not guarantee that you have X amount of years uh, beyond that, would you trade that for a billion dollars in a five-year time limit to be here? Everybody's answer has been so um, unique in, res in response to that question. So I definitely wanted to get your guys' perspective on it. Um, I did ask a couple of people randomly this morning. Um, got some wildly different answers. Um, a lot of people said, absolutely, I'm taking the money. Um, in five years, I get to live anything and do a lifetime of achievements in that five-year period and then i get to leave the money to my family and so that was uh one way to look at it and then some other people's you know response was oh i'll make a billion dollars i don't need it for free um and that that's that's fine too unlikely but fine <laughs> unless you win the uh the lottery at this point um, but if we uh, could chime in down below, let me know what your answer to that question would be. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and check out, you know, the operations of the San Carlos branch of the City of San Diego Public Library. They do have a official ballot drop-off box um, right here. So we will be uh, maintaining a little bit of a quiet tone. Local uh, papers, it looks like. How you, you doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just filming. Thank you. Appreciate it. As long as, you, as, long as you're not filming any of the patrons or anything. I, as, if they're in the shot, they're in the, the shot. If they're in the shot, they're in the shot. They are in public. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to intentionally be filming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah, happy Society used to meet at one of my branches. I forget which one. What the library currently looks like for sure. <laughs> um, these are different designs for the potential library. It looks like. Um, that would definitely, definitely be a much needed improvement. Um, on this library, um, it is very bland and unattractive on the outside. Um, not that a library needs to be attractive, but um, it's definitely going to hopefully bring in a new generation of users. Uh, people don't realize nowadays, especially how important a library can be. Um, the history. I understand every book that you can find almost um, is now online. Are one of you guys a librarian or? I am. Wait, question about the building designs. Yeah. Is that something that's in the works? Yes. Right. Preliminary design. Preliminary. The outside so of the building. In the starting phase. And it's just, a, is it a remodel of this place or no, is it a new? No, it's going to be expansion. 
Oh, nice, nice. Yep. That's that's. Yep. What what timeline are we looking at? Uh, we're in the fundraising stage right now. <laughs> the the most difficult <laughs> one, I yeah, guess, exactly. right? Exactly. We're in the fundraising stage, but we did just purchase the parking lot next door in our August. We've been waiting since 1998 to buy that. So now that we but we did, and we didn't want to do any fundraising until we knew that we had the parking lot Perfect. secured. So now they have the parking lot secured. Um, we're starting that whole fundraising phase. So this is kind of part of it. We're doing our 50th anniversary on Saturday. Nice. So we're hoping to get people's interest with that. That happened 10 years ago with the 40th anniversary. <laughs> nice, we're nice. with the 50th, we'll get... Um, well, this will be up and running before the before this weekend. So hopefully we sure. get some people yeah. to come we'll visit on, you guys. Um, so. One of the new stations? Or? Uh, uh, we have a big YouTube channel. Excellent. So oh, Great. Okay. You, you guys have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you, guys. You guys have been really inviting. Um, yeah, yeah. Good. What's, the, what's the photograph for? Um, we just take videos of the library doing a little story on it. Oh, okay. I, I never seen it before. Oh, yes. Uh, they're, they're supposed to move. Maybe what's that? That's, that's why, because they're moving. Yeah, um, I guess they're, well, they're not moving. I guess they're going to demolish and reconstruct. Oh, right here? Right here. And oh. in the adjoining lot, so. Um, have you seen the designs yet? No. So if you go in the room where they're all standing down there and go to your right, there's a room with all the pictures of the new designs. Oh, yeah. So go check it out, man. City of San Diego Public Library, Tierra Santa Branch. The entrance is definitely a lot more inviting. It is sitting at a much busier intersection. Um, the door did kind of open itself when I came in. That was different. Um, this library definitely looks a little bit better. Um, definitely more updated. newspapers and magazines. This is a little bit more reminiscent of our days in the library um, in the 90s. I did not see this section at the last library. Uh, it looks like they have private workstations with chargers at each one. Um, they have an independent um, study room. It's a uh, dry erase board. I wonder if they have to uh, reserve this. Yeah. You know. I wonder if it's something that has to be reserved or you just ask to go in it or if you just go in it. So, uh, I'm kind of surprised a little bit. Um, by the fact that there's so much empty space on here. I would say about 50% of these shelves are empty. So, um, Judy Jettis Reading Patio. Well, this is cool. <clears throat> I have not yet seen this at one of the um, one of the libraries. Um, it's kind of outdoors, but not. Um, you have uh, obviously your sunroof set up up there. Over here, you got a cage to keep all the birds and things out. Uh, that corner is falling in. Um, I'm not even going to guess what used to be here. Um, I understand the concept. This is one of those wall planters. Um, but this is dead decaying. And if I had my mask off, I'd probably be smelling some wrench. <laughs> um, it looks like they at some point had a rodent issue and put some rocks in the way to block them. We got a couple of little uh, tables, and this is actually um, in a heater if you want, so inclined. I um, wonder if that's a customer controlled heater. Um, yeah, so library staff only, it looks like, can turn on the heater.
Um, gotta admit, not bad. Looks like they still have a card catalog. Nope. Seeds. So you check out seeds and return them. So these used to be full of uh, cards to look up the books. Now they're full of seeds. Excuse me. You guys have the uh, study room. Is that something like you guys have to reserve? Or is that kind yeah, of uh, whoever shows up grabs it? It's going to be same day check out, first come first serve. Perfect, yeah. perfect. All right, just curious about it. I've never seen one it like that before. Mm -hmm. And I love the patio. Um, that, that's amazing. Thank you, guys. Now, if I was to choose a public library in San Diego to go to, it probably wouldn't be one of the smaller ones. As you could tell from that one, they had hardly any books. Um, it's just stunning for a library. They were half empty shelves on every aisle almost uh, with few exceptions so I wanted to get these doors are weird so if you open the right one they both open but the one slams into the button <laughs> um, every time it opens, just slams into the button um, the button physically moves um, so I'm going to test this button and see if it does it on its own or if it's only when... <laughs> Tell me the button doesn't work. That's, that's just great. So... Yeah, that's something's broken with that. So the button doesn't work, but the door slams into the button. So, yeah, there you go. Might explain why the button doesn't work. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to get through. Thank you. Where would I go in to file a complaint? Right, right inside? In there. All right, thank you. Hello, sir. How, How you doing? You? I can help you in a second if you want to have a seat. That's fine. I'll wait. Yeah, I have a few people. Uh, someone left their phone here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're, yeah, we got a big thing going on right now. Okay. Yeah. Thank um, you. Sorry. Guys, do you mind taking him in? What up, sir? You want? I, I could take the one. Okay, let me let me go look at your car. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Try to be with you as soon as. Not a problem. I'm not in a rush. So we're gonna check out the uh, process it is of um, filing a complaint. But while we're here. Let's look at some of the uh, artwork on the wall. Um, So this is part of the reason um, why our police forces, in a lot of cases, not all cases, inept. They only require 2.0 GPA, which you get just by showing up. Um, there's no educational requirement outside of just showing up to school every day. So I have a really large plaque wall here. So this is their thin blue line um, wall. I'm assuming those are officers of off in the line of duty. So that's kind of cool. Get this first You're good. I'm not in a rush, man. I'm just getting shots of the lobby while I'm here. 
So, um, I saw this, I'm trying to figure out what exactly this is. Um, if anyone knows what this is, uh, comment it down below because I'm completely dumbfounded. Um, this is a medication disposal. So, so it doesn't want you to put the bottles in, so I'm assuming you have to dump the bottles out. Uh, so maybe, nope, never mind. I thought it says no medications. <laughs> I was going to think you dump the medications here, dump the bottles in there, but that's not the case. Not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. Thank you so much. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Why are you all covered up like that? I'm allowed to be. I know that. I'm just okay. asking why you're covered up. I mean, it's I I hard. outside filming all day, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I have. So he just told him to leave me alone. It's not even for the cold. I get sunburned to the point where my nose peels, my neck peels. Yeah. Absolutely. So it doesn't, and that does, you know, that helps, but it's not necessarily necessary here because it doesn't get that cold. But when I'm in between buildings, I film all day. So when I'm in between buildings, I get a lot of wind chill. Yeah. And so it helps in that case, but yeah. go ahead, what are you talking about? Um, the gentleman's phone that was right there, um, he was getting arrested. That sucks. Um, you know, obviously I don't know what it was about or what it was for. Um, it's not a great moment in his uh, day right now, so. That was really good. So, are you taking my picture too? I'm just taking a video of the whole room, sorry. For my too? Uh, well, anything here, yeah. No, I don't want to be in the other before. Sir, so the problem is the pictures in here because it's a public area. Anybody can film inside here. Because the public is open to the public, so I can't stop them from filming. If you want to come back later. Is he's allowed here. to do that? Yes, he is. Because it's open to the public. It's outside of there, uh, privately, like in your house or something else. Uh, you want to come back in 20, I, I don't know how long it'll be, half an hour? I'll be here. If you want I, I already know I'm inside. Huh? I'm already inside. Right, it's up to you, sir, if you want to stay or not. No, you but no, I'm already there. inside, then it doesn't make sense to come back okay, again. Go ahead and have a seat. After I help him and he leaves, then we do the talk. Not to give away the, the farm here, but in most circumstances, if you don't want filming in the lobby of a place, just play pl plenty of copyrighted music at a decent volume. And depending on how long the person is in there, um, it'll no longer be considered incidental audio. Um, so it's a, it walks a very gray area with YouTube's policies. So, so he's uh, Googling my rights and educating himself, so that's good. I can hear him reading it. So I was looking at the drinking fountain. I have a water bottle, and so I just push it right through my mask. I was looking at the drinking fountain. I'm like, I'm thirsty. Um, that'd be a little bit of a difficult drink. <laughs> and probably make the whole front of my mask a little wet. Not a problem, buddy.
I don't know if you guys heard that comment, but um, definitely gonna. <laughs> he was laughing. He's like, you never really go to the front counter for anything, and then the one day we do. <laughs> I'm up here filming. <laughs> Um, sorry, that made me chuckle. Alrighty. Alright, sir, what can I do for you? Hey, so first I have a question if I'm in the right place. Sure. So, um, I was at the San Diego Police uh, facility yesterday that was where the charger facility used to be. Where the charger facility used to be? Yeah, the training facility. Okay. Um, you guys have a big police department right there. Okay. Um, not open to the public, so mm -hmm. I can't go there and file a complaint. Um, I was doing a uh, walk-by filming yesterday, mm -hmm. and I had a sergeant, um, and I have all their information on a video, Okay. Um, and a captain mm -hmm. um, give me unlawful demands um, so I wanted to file a complaint. I didn't okay. know how to do that, considering I can't go to that department because there's no public access. Right, you can't go into that building. Yeah, and okay. there's like three other departments in that area with no public access either. Really? So, yeah. Okay. Um, so this is department number four or five um, of me trying to find a location to file a complaint. Okay, yeah, I can help you with okay. that. Okay, perfect. Give me one second, and I'll be right back. And I'll Not a problem. There's no rush, buddy. Appreciate it. There guys, I'm going through my video. I'm trying to find name and badge numbers. Okay, sir. So, uh, don't get to pick up for one minute because I'm gonna have a sergeant take the complaint. That way, you're no, no, and I appreciate they'll that. Take it here. I do appreciate that. And then, uh, so they'll come out here and talk to you. Okay. Okay. Is the complaint process similar? Um, so it was a sergeant and a captain. Mm -hmm. Is this the same process for both? Uh, yes, it's the same process for both. I'm, right. pre I'm pretty sure, but I'm not familiar because I've never. I don't know about a captain. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. My sergeant's going to come out okay. here, and she'll know more about that. Perfect. And then the last question I had mm -hmm. is, um, outside of this complaint, mm -hmm. um, do you guys have an internal affairs or we city's do, attorney do. department? They, they, they'll, they'll decide how that gets okay. routed and everything. So I don't think they did anything that crosses, you know, their own ethical line. Right, <laughs> um, right. So I don't imagine this complaint's going to go anywhere. I do have it all on video of them just spouting unlawful order after unlawful order after unlawful okay, order. And perfect. I feel like there absolutely has to be a training opportunity here. Okay. Yeah, um, that's the, if you believe that, that's something that could be addressed. And like I said, they'll they'll look at the video and they'll, they'll talk yeah. to you in depth and the sergeant will. Perfect. I just don't want you to repeat it twice. and they'll Because I'm, I'm probably going to not be involved at all now. And then can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll write it down for you. And then the sergeant that came in and kind of got on to me, I need his as, as well. Okay. Give me a second. I appreciate your professionalism and your knowledge. <laughs> it's not a common thing these days. Okay. And let me give you the other sergeant's name. Sergeant will be here, and I'll be right back to get the other sergeant's uh, name and ID. Want because I know his name, but not his ID. Okay, perfect. I appreciate you, man. Uh, Pete, the gentleman is right there. Okay. Okay. Are you doing it? No. Okay. No. 
That's fine. I appreciate it. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Oh, here, here is my name and ID of the sergeant you want the other one, Sergeant Drilling, and that's his ID, okay? Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm doing wonderful. Is this going Ramirez? this direction? Yeah, sure. I'm, how you doing, Jack? How you doing? Hey, Jack. Yep. Hey, Jack. All right. Um, Where'd you want to? Uh, do you have a seat? It's fine. We'll sit across right. from you. Go ahead and have a seat. Uh, this is my partner, uh, Sergeant Harris. Uh, Sergeant Harris. Uh, Okay. And what's your name badge numbers? Uh, mine's at Emilio Ramirez, ID right. number 6056. Right. And mine is uh, Christopher Harrison, ID number 6337. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Um, so before we take down the complaint, obviously, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to watch the video. To you see have a video there, for me? Yeah, to okay. see if there is a complaint in there. Sure. So I don't know if that meets like a standard of a complaint, first of all, that's, you know, um, and then second of all, you know, I'm not about making people's lives difficult on purpose. I don't need complaints to go on people's files. Um, if there's educational moments that can be had with a conversation. And so that's what I'm trying to establish here is like, is there some kind of way that, you know, people can be made aware such as yourselves and be like, Hey, you know what, maybe I should call over that department and, you know, kind of maybe go over them with, you know, a few things from colleague to colleague so that they don't run into these situations again. Um, the, the reality is, is, you know, obviously that officer when she demanded my ID, uh, more than once demand, not asked like the captain had insinuated, you heard the demand. Um, it doesn't seem like she's heard no a lot. And so when somebody, challenges you know giving up their fourth amendment right to me that's you know should be an acceptable challenge not something that turns into a combative situation because the sergeant doesn't know the limits within her you know what she's allowed to ask or demand not ask but demand for because you're right they, she can ask all day long yeah but she can't demand it and give unlawful directions uh, directives while demanding and making those demands because the entire encounter in itself was insinuating that she was gonna, you know, potentially detain me if I didn't turn over ID. Um, and that's kind of where that, I saw the interaction going had the captain not been there. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, are, are, are you, I don't wanna cut you off, so I don't no, wanna, no, go ahead. so, so um, it's up to interpretation on, on that uh, as far as where it would have gone mm -hmm. and- No, no, that, I, I get it, I get so it. So I don't know, and I'm just yeah. gonna address that. Yep. But as far as um, the interpretation of her demanding uh, your ID and under what pretense she was going. I, mm -hmm. I'm kind of hard to say what direction that was going. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. She did have some, uh, uh, we'll say, uh, interaction from the captain that mm -hmm. kind of stopped things, but yes. they still didn't seem to de-escalate. It seems like it was just going in whatever direction yeah. it was going in. As far as a complaint, at the moment, not really. I yeah, don't and see, that's why, and that's I don't why, see you know, one because yeah. unless she had... Put hands on you mm -hmm. or detain exactly. you. No, no, and, that, and I then felt that, I would be. I would say, I, and that's why I came in here with a very open mind. It's just yeah. like, but there has to be a way. There has to be a path to at least a colleague to colleague conversation that can raise up and maybe remind, you know, where there's a little bit of a gray area, but where there's also not a gray area. Like my rights should be my rights, no matter who stops me. I agree. And I, my encounters with your department have been overwhel overwhelmingly great. Um, this is one of only a few, but these are also the ones that blow up on, you know, on social media. And, um, it shouldn't be a lottery pick on whether or not when I get stopped, my rights are gonna be violated. I, you know what no, I mean? I, or I attempted to be like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No matter who you do, exactly. Doing, and that's why I was like, there's got to Harrison or me. Yeah, yeah. It should be a straight exactly. Board, and I agree with you. And and that's where I'm trying to figure out well, what what can be done as a department. And I know this is a I, I don't know if it's the same division. Probably not. It is not. So okay. this is Northeastern Division. So where you were was Police uh, yeah. Plaza. That's our training division. They okay. also house our neighborhood policing officers. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, but do you understand what? you know, my ask at least is like, you know, there's gotta be some kind of, you know, you guys know the officers, you guys know the captain, there's gotta be some person 
who could open up a pathway to a conversation to be like, hey, you know what? Um, I noticed this yesterday. You know, we've been made aware of this. Oh, no, I, no, so since we sat down with you, there will mm -hmm. be some sort of resolution. Mm -hmm. uh, and it won't, because I'm only And a I don't need to know what that resolution oh, yeah. was. I, I don't I'm only care. A sergeant. I will pass it up to no, my no, command. Absolutely. And they will go, because I, I'm only a sergeant. Absolutely. But they will actually, I'll explain to them the situation. And then they will go from there. Like, but I'm not fine. asking for anything unreasonable. I'm not asking, oh, I want her job. Like, it, it wasn't that. Yeah. She didn't lay hands on me. It did no, not go to that. For. It did not go to that uh, extreme, which is why I came in here with a very open mind. That's why I was like, I declined to give you my information right away because I was like, I don't even know if this rises to a complaint. I am on the fence on whether or not it's even worthy of a complaint, but it absolutely rises to a level of some awareness needs to go on. It, it some, is, I understand the training aspect of it. I it, definitely understand where you're and, coming from. And, and when you said that's the training, that's even more scary. <laughs> Like, well, let me, let, me, let, me, all right. let me clarify. Uh, when I say training, that's where our like uh, defensive tactics. Okay. All right. um, so that's all right. there's a different sort of training right. that takes place there, right. like our canine. So it's not the training like academy training yeah, 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 yeah. that takes place at another location. Absolutely. But I understand. So I should clarify on that. <laughs> no, you're good. I don't you're want good. you to think, wow, they're really training these people and this is how they act. No, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. you to think that. No, no, no. Behaved in a way that was borderlining you know, crossing lines of like removing my first amendment right, removing my fourth. I mean, she was just going down the gamut of uh, protections guaranteed by the constitution and just trying to take those away from me. Uh, the unlawful order is like, you better move, is essentially the, the, the order is like, you need to move. She gets out of her car to further intimidate and further, you know, engage that directive. You cannot do this. That That's, you know, had the captain not been there, I mean, you're a smart guy, you're a smart guy, you know that if it's just me and her and we're just going at it like that, it's not gonna end well for me. I'm gonna end up in cuffs in a situation where a police officer believes that they are lawful and correct, and the citizen believes that they are lawful and correct, who wins at the end of that day? The one with the badge, the gun, and the cuffs. At the end of the day. You, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> for now, but yeah. you, there is some, uh, there is a recourse for you. You had your video camera and yep. you had all your Absolutely. Well, so. no, and that's fine. I mean, I, again, the recourse is great after the fact, after, after I, I'm I already in cuffs, after I'm to. already detained, after a supervisor came on scene. Um, you know, it could have gotten messy really fast had I not just been lucky that a captain had followed her out of the gate um, and, and, and was able to, uh, in a way, defuse the situation. She really didn't, but... Um, I was at least, you know, I've had interactions with your department where a uh, sergeant will correct an officer in front of everybody, just, you know, not, not in a mean or, but just say, oh, no, no, he's allowed to do that way. That did not happen <laughs> at all yesterday. So it's, it, it leads me to believe that both of them are unaware of my rights or if the captain was aware, you know, she, there was a good moment to have a good conversation with all three of us while we're standing there and to portray the department in a very good way and to end and resolve this in a counter wildly differently. And she did not choose to do that. You know, she was belittling the points that I was making, you know, engaging in a, in a tit for tat. She's a captain. She should be the best at de-escalating situations. You guys train de-escalation. You know what I mean? She shouldn't be there just kind of fighting into it and excuses of why she couldn't tell the sergeant this. And None of that matters at the end of the day, you know, this officer was trying to violate my rights and the, and the most basic ones that are, are, are written. I, 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 I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Uh, I would have, it, it's a, it is a training issue. Yeah. And I, like I said, I will pass this up to my command and I, I will let them deal with it. It would be on a much higher level than me because yeah. it's involving a sergeant and a captain that, takes place way above me yeah. uh, but it will be addressed um, as far as ri rising to a formal complaint uh, I was waiting for some sort of physical altercation yeah, 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 or yeah, actually yeah. pushing the issue yep. like physically like yeah, hey yeah. you gotta but it seems like they they, they and that's they, why I came in here with open back. mind I'm not you know it's funny because uh, I, I do a lot of these and so we had the interaction in Hillcrest um, where uh, we were uh, filming a corner and we were actually time lapsing. At, most of my videos are travel videos. So we were actually time lapsing the corner and it was uh, San Diego County Credit Union and all the way down in Hillcrest on uh, University Avenue. We were doing a full time lapse. The cameras were sitting still for like an hour um, waiting to get it. And I was having fun conversations with people that were going on. Um, bank manager shuts down the branch without even having like asking or anything. 
uh, what I was doing, nothing. Um, didn't even lead, they didn't even let me know that they were nervous or feeling a certain way. Uh, shut down the branch, called the police. The police officers show up and they're just, they're kind of laughing. They're like, eh, well, you know, <laughs> um, they go into the bank. Uh, when they come out, this poor officer would look on his face like, she just yelled at me because I'm not arresting you right now. <laughs> so it's like, a lot of people aren't educated on the law yeah. and what they can and can't do. And, that's, and so it's the encounters with me usually go really well. Um, you know, when I walked in here, you know, normally, you know, and I get this, um, but when I walked in here, the officer behind the desk, he should be wearing some stripes. <laughs> um, the sergeant that walked out, the plainclothes sergeant uh, was walking out, a uh, detective, and he stops and he starts grilling me on why, why am I wearing the mask? What, you know, just, and instantly the guy behind the desk, hey, Sarge, it's fine. I got this. Let him go. Again, there's 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 a few officers that need to have a conversation with that. You know, we have the right in public to create our own privacy, which is what I've done. We have the right to film in public, and even if I am on public property, as long as I'm not in restricted areas, I can film in public as well. Of oh, course. So I fear, you know, and, and again, there's no way that these officers knew this, but. I could have been on that property, filming on that property. I'm pretty sure with those two officers, it would have gone really bad because they would have assumed that that's private property. They would have assumed that they have different, that it rises to a different element. It really doesn't. Public property is public property. Libraries, police stations, courthouses, anything that the public can access, we can be there with our cameras. And anywhere public can access, I can also maintain my right to privacy at the same time. Yeah. So... Just conversations, but this is the officer, the, the sergeant that tried to get at me when I was walking in here drilling. Okay, I will. Just so you're aware. Okay, now I'll we'll pass that up as well. Um, but I need that paper. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, no, all right. oh, no problem. All right. <laughs> um, is there um, anything else that we can help? No, with? that's it. Martinez, man, that, praise to that guy, man. He 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 explained it away to the sergeant. He was explaining it to some random person in there. He's, um, very helpful. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you could buy him lunch or something, man. <laughs> Is there anything else that we can help no, with? No, I appreciate your professionalism, guys. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, do I got that door or this door? Or? Uh, I'll take it off. Okay. okay. I was surprised that they let me film the complaint process. Now, mind you, the, inter the interactions that I have had, I know that you know uh simple basic complaints don't really rise to the level of um urgency um as he explained to me uh very professionally neither did that encounter there's not really much to file a complaint on and i am fine with that he did say and i'm going to take him on his word that he was um going to pass it up the chain um so that right there um gives me a little bit of uh hope that at least a conversation will be had so the less tyrannical encounters we run into with uneducated police officers the better and some of you may or may not agree with how that went down or might not be happy that a complaint couldn't be filed um but the fact is that it did not rise to the level of making a uh real and true complaint and that is completely fine. I am fine with those with that answer. I will move on from this and on to the next, I guess. But we, um, you know, as auditors, we have to engage in not only the negative conversations, but we also have to engage in the positive conversations. These conversations, if that does go up the ladder a little bit, um, these conversations can lead to real change and this change is important for future auditors and just I mean consider your children out there engaging with a police officer who's stepping on your kids rights um, and something drastic happens and worst you know worst case scenario and your your son's in there doing some prison time for you know of some stupid charge obstructing or you know some obscure um, situational charge uh, that sucks you know and that's what we risk um, going through and it's not the greatest thing to 
have to face um, the people that are in charge of us, the people that have a badge on, they should be ensuring and protecting our rights and freedoms, not trampling on them. And that's where these conversations are very important. So going in here and letting you guys see that conversation happen was something that's very important to me. I'm so glad they didn't bring me back to a room and say, you can't film in here. Um, I would have tried to have the conversation then in the lobby. Um, but that puts us in a position when I say, oh, well, I'm not going back there then, I'm gonna do it in the lobby. Then obviously those cops instantly think I'm a jackass and they're not gonna take me serious. So I am satisfied uh, leaving here. I am absolutely gonna go audit that police station again, uh, really soon actually within the next couple days. Um, I absolutely want to see if the reactions have changed. Um, my hope is that they have, and you know, we can have some constructive development here with the, in the, within the department. And all of, uh, all of my encounters with the police have not been bad at all. Uh, we've had more positive than negative ones, but I, I do see a lot of auditors that will have a negative encounter and they say things like, I'm going to sue the department or I'm going to complain, but do not follow through. It is important that when you say it, these cops know that you mean it. If it's just a veiled threat that is thrown around, then they will take it less and less serious uh, when it comes to these complaints. So I'm filming this in an outro gate, and it looks like this is not the one that they use. So that's kind of funny. Um, it appears that they, there might be another one up here. Um, so I'm gonna go up that direction. So I am calling again um, for every person who has any interest in doing audits like these. Please, please reach out to the auditors in your community, in your areas and see if they are willing to teach you so you can learn how to do it with them. We definitely need more, not less of us. This is crazy. The concept that they are separating your police departments in your communities from the public is wild to me. I had to drive, um, I think 20 miles, um, to come and find a department that had a lobby. And even when I got to it, it looked like they had a push button entrance for a second, um, or at least it might be moving in that direction. These departments need to be transparent. And how can they be transparent if you can't even open a front door? Um, that's a scary place. Um, it sucks they give her the Ford Fusion. I think I'm being engaged with or called on. I just had this conversation inside with the sergeants. Stay in your vehicle. It's not the end of the world. Move on. She was almost there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she radioed it in and that sergeant probably heard that shit and said, get out of there, move, move, stop. Get out of there, get out of there. <laughs> So I think it'd be kind of funny, not really, only a little funny if I'm standing here filming on a public sidewalk in front of a police gate at the department that took my complaint about being harassed about it the first time. It would be a little funny if an officer detained me, put me in cuffs, 
and I go into that station right there and I'm like, well, now can I file a complaint? <laughs> so that's the weirdest looking Ford. Is that a, the new escape or what? I'm just making a video. That cop just pulled out in front of traffic. <laughs> I lied. You should also know how to drive. That guy is going in the gate early. He's like, yeah, I'm not going there. somebody went back in the third mysterious gate that I haven't seen yet he is backing up he's like yeah I don't want to go out this gate I'm gonna go out the other gate this one tried to dodge me <laughs> um, I don't think he understands how persistent I am Car seven 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 seven. Don't crash, pay attention. That guy's trying to record me and paying zero attention to um, driving. He almost crashed into the curb, almost went into the middle of the street. You know, if, if that's going to happen, Transaction Safe Space Program, um, where if you um, buy things online, uh, this is where you come exchange it at a police department, which is a safe place to do it until someone runs their car into somebody because they're focused on filming and not driving. guys going in the wrong side of the driveway here. There's a standoff. Hey man, you work for the IRS or something? 
No. Oh, okay. Just checking for you. <laughs> Selling. You know how that goes. <laughs> all right, man. Keep enjoying all that First Amendment stuff. Absolutely, brother. Be safe. All right, he ended up being kind of cool. You too, man. How you doing? No. What's that? Don't take my picture. You're in public, ma'am. I'm allowed to. I'm absolutely allowed to in public. You are in public. There's no right if to privacy. If I'm requesting not to, then you have to stop. That is actually completely untrue. Well, let's just go over here and find okay. out. Okay. I, I will go with you. Come on. So she wanted me to escort her in. They'll be up here in a second. They're usually pretty quick. Picture. So I was out on the sidewalk filming. She walked by and said, "Stop filming." I told her I'm allowed to, and then she asked me to escort her in here with me. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> ma'am, uh, I know a lot of people don't understand this, but if you're in the a public area, I'm not now. Okay. Well, in here it is because it's open, we're open to the public, and if you're on the street, they can film. They can film us. You can film him. You can take pictures out there in the public. Like you can take pictures. But he has the right to conceal he does, himself. He has a right uh, because as long as you're out in public. So where's my re uh, reasonable? In, in, a pri in private areas where the public is not allowed. For example, a place of business where there's offices and you work back in the office, that's not open to the public. That's why I have these locked doors behind beyond this. Unless he's invited, he's not allowed in here because it's not open to the public. If you're in How about if I feel harassed? What? Well, I didn't harass, but ma'am, you asked me to come in here. You asked no, me to. No, I asked you to stop. Okay, but yeah, but he, he can still film. He still can film. He's not harassed. I would just, uh, if you don't like, I would just go away from him. Go away from him. Anything else I can help you with? Okay, I'm sorry. She asked me to escort her in here, so. <laughs> no, no, I get it. And honestly, she was just walking by. It would have been a clip I wouldn't have even used if she didn't say anything, but she blew up on me and then demanded I follow her in here. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, so when she said harassment, I'm like, hey, you asked me to come. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. I, didn't, I didn't even catch that, so. Yeah, so she threw the word harassment in there. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, you told me, I got on video. You told me to come with you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Oh, that was great. So, 
literally every time I tell you guys, like, hey, I'm going to not be here for very long. Um, I'm on my way out. Um, something happens every single time, almost 100% of the time. Um, something happens. Um, don't rear in people trying to pay attention to me. So we got, um, we get on the uh, sidewalk here. Um, so don't pay so much attention to me. Um, put yourself um, in a situation where you get talked to or talk to the camera. Um, I got a cam back going on over there. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, so you figure a police station, people arriving here, um, would definitely know, um, my rights here. So there's another purchasing situation to happen here, happening here. Um, but it was with a couple of young ladies. I'm trying to, not trying to stir them up or uh, make them feel unsafe at a spot that's meant to feel safe at. Um, the only reason I engaged with the other gentleman is he almost ran into a curb. What's that? Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, I have a minor in the car. You guys are in public. There's nothing. But I'm her parent. Okay, do that's you fine. Need my authorization I act, to I do not. Her? I do not at all, actually. In public, you have no right to privacy unless you create your own privacy. No, I have a right as a parent okay. to protect my child. Right? Th you can't even see a Why child on the camera. Recording? Okay. Why are you recording? I don't owe you any answers. No, you don't owe me anything. Okay. But I would like to know why I'm being recorded. Right I'm not going to explain what I'm doing while I'm working. Okay, you realize you're in front of a police station, Absolutely, right? yeah. Are you protesting something, or are you just... I, like, I'm not going to answer anything? any questions. What's the purpose, though? I, I, you keep asking questions, I'm not going to answer. Okay, so we have a bunch of Girl Scouts that are about to arrive. Okay. All of them are minors. Okay. I don't know what your purpose is. It has Maybe. nothing to do with the Girl Scouts. Let me explain, okay. okay? I don't care if it has anything to do with Girl Scouts. That's why we're here. So we're gonna come, and I would appreciate whatever it is that we're not on camera. Well, you put yourself into camera by coming out and talking to me. You put me in the camera by recording me. Okay, I, I recorded you coming into a driveway. That's you're you're on. Look at camera, camera, camera. Hundred percent. Okay, so the, so I don't know one, who you are. If I ask them okay, for something, I'm and most likely I'm gonna get it. They get, you're not even answering general questions. And I don't have to. Correct. Okay. But these cameras, if I say you recorded me and you recorded mm -hmm. my child, I have more of a right to get it from them than I do some random stranger that isn't even answering questions to me. Hey, I don't have to answer questions. I understand. I'm not Their care Government answers, cameras get I'm hacked all the time and people post them online regardless. So. You, right? I'm sure you'll see yourself online soon. Wow. Uh, you're, you've made the thumbnail. <laughs> so. Excuse me? You've made the thumbnail. Like... You approaching and accosting me over filming, accusing me of filming your daughter. You. All I'm doing is having hey, a conversation. And accosting you. can be verbal. No. Yeah, verbal. Yes, absolutely. I'm not threatening you. I I'm didn't say that. I didn't say threats. At all whatsoever, except asking why are you recording hey. me? Which I have a right as an individual, okay. even on public property, hey. to know. No, stop. No, you don't have a right me. to know. You have a right to ask. You don't have a right to an answer. I have a right to ask. Yes. You keep interrupting me. I'm allowed to. We're. I'm a person. I'm allowed to interrupt. I do not have to listen to you be argumentative with me. Either, but I am. Okay, you got out. I was way over there filming the police officer. You yelled out, had me, me, had me turn I'm around, rewind it had me, it. yes, had me turn around, come back over here. You created this situation. I didn't. You put yourself into camera. No, you. Nobody would have noticed a lady in a fucking minivan. Nobody would have noticed a lady in a fucking minivan being recorded Except driving. You standing there. Recording yeah. me as I drove and nobody would have noticed that, but they're gonna notice this. But you did notice that because you recorded me this whole length. You did notice that. I recorded that. you to about right there, and then I turned back and recorded the cop coming out of the gate. But what was the purpose of that? I don't have to explain that to you. Again, the whole reason why I'm standing here having a conversation with you, and you accuse me of accosting you, 
No, thank you. All I'm doing is you, standing here asking You can verbally accost so somebody. To, you haven't you accepted even, an answer that I don't need, have to I give you an answer. answer. Okay. You can answer and you're choosing And I don't not have to, to answer. And I can ask you questions. Hey, and I don't have to answer. I'm not Okay. I don't know who you are or what your purpose is, but what I You don't I'm have to know to my purpose. Right now, I am not asking that question. If you would please just let me speak as a human to human, can I do that or it does not matter? Honestly, you've interrupted what I was trying to do over there to create this situation, so I don't no, I have to hear you out. I was asking you if you were recording and if you could stop for the moment of the girls to go inside. That's all I was asking, which obviously you're not going to answer no matter what I ask. But as a parent and as a person who's in charge hey, of minors, I, I would prefer okay, that they're not Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. There's two young ladies over here doing a transaction. I didn't film them so I wouldn't make them uncomfortable. They're out of their vehicle. I'm not filming them to make them uncomfortable. I have no intention of filming a bunch of little kids going into a fucking police station. Right. Zero. Who, who so you don't even have to ask that question. But you're recording but and you're recording But you created the situation for me to come over here. I was over there. You know what? It is not my fault that you are standing in this parking lot and recording. Okay. okay? Absolutely so not. Stop trying to turn it around. But on you made me come over I here. I created the situation. You absolutely did. No, I did not. You are standing here. You with could have a left me alone over you there. You are not here with a camera. Then the situation. You could have left me alone. First place. You could have left me alone I over there. I have, but I have minors to protect. And that's fine. Nobody could I'm see through the damn windows alone, who the hell was in I, your car. Dude, you have a okay. mask on. All right. My daughter is in there like, this guy looks scary. I'm scared. Of course okay. I'm going to stand up right. and defend her. All right. That was recorded. You look scary. Turn around and look at him. They all know. Great. Well, you look scary. <laughs> if that's, that's your opinion. That is my opinion and my daughter's opinion, who it is my right as a parent okay. to protect. You're protecting? This How is this protecting to... anybody? Because I'm stating my point on camera. Okay. To a lot of people right now. Sure. Hi, and it's going to be permanently online. Everything is, right? There's yeah, cameras exactly. everywhere. So what's your point? But I was over there filming them. And it's my fault that I brought you over here. Absolutely. Go back to your work. Whatever it is that your weird work is and a mask and a uh -huh. camera in the parking lot of a police station, that doesn't seem legitimate to me. But okay. go back to work, so sir. So you can go in there and ask them. They know it's legitimate. It doesn't matter. To okay, you. exactly. Nothing matters to you, nor, no, nor, nor do my rights. My okay, you just said it. It don't no, matter. I didn't say nothing matters to me. Mm -hmm. I said the reason why you're here doesn't matter to me. But what okay, I do know it is matters to them. They are aware I'm. He they are aware I'm here. Great. They know what I'm doing. And good luck with what you're doing. Thank you. Okay, okay. so leave me alone from the first place, you Thank dummy. Thank you and good day. You literally look like a fool. Why <laughs> are you so, the Karen of the day, guys. Karen of the day is going on a video I'm for sure. It's a lot. I'm allowed to. You're allowed to put license plates online. So I wasn't even gonna film her car or her license plate, but I did already. Um, but yeah, she's threatened to sue me if her license plate is online. Um, so that was, uh, that was fun. Actually get good video, um, cause the cars are right here now and the back door is right there. Um, that was the intent and then it turned into... <laughs> A little bit of a traffic jam, which I got on video, and and then became uh, quite a mess. So this person is not coming out this gate. He's like, "Yep, sayonara." Um, definitely not coming out that gate. I'm here with Girl Scout. What's that? I'm here with Girl Scout. Okay. Um, so there's a lady right here in the blue van, yeah. uh, appears to be here for the same thing. Okay. <laughs> she, right. she kind of went off on me filming. I have nothing to do with <laughs> So the only reason I know that she's like, I got Girl Scouts, you're filming minors. I'm like, bro, I'm filming the police. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just curious if I'm allowed to park. So here. yeah, you're fine. You're fine. The, yeah. the police are fine with this. Okay. Thank All right. So um, well, at least I was able to help them find parking or where they're supposed to go. Um, so 
So that turned into a whole weird thing. Damn, so that guy just quick reversed up to the top gate. So I'm gonna go um, surprise him at that one. Um, so that's pretty much the run of the gamut there. I like this truck. I like this truck too, it'll last a lot longer. Um, those Toyotas. Those Toyotas will outrun anything. Uh, like a mechanical marvel. So I'm pretty sure they deal with uh, parking too. So parking on city streets, expired tags, ticketing, things like that. Um, That car sounds like it's in rough shape, man. Time to trade it in. Um, guys, be careful with women. <clears throat> You're filming minors. You're harassing me. You assaulted me like three times in a week, guys. In one week. Um, that is bizarre to me. So today is kind of accidental good content. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be slow. I feel like I could just stand anywhere in the freaking world and just get berated and accused. And um, it's an unhealthy society we live in uh, over rights. And um, it sucks, really, guys. It really sucks. Ladies, your first thought, no, not thought, your first accusation when someone is filming in public just because you have your spawn with you. I didn't have your spawn. I didn't tell you to bring your spawn in public. But if you have your spawn with you and then you tell me I am doing something wrong because you put your spawn in front of my camera, um... It's on you. That doesn't mean I'm out filming people's fucking kids. It's the most ridiculous, quick thing that women will jump to to try to make a man look bad is accusations, assault earlier this week, harassment this week. You're filming minors this week. Three in a week, ladies, that you guys use as little bullet jabs like to try to stab people in the side and to try to create a mess out of something that's not even a situation uh it's gross uh my wife would never ever imagine going up to somebody with a camera with our kids and be like quit filming minors quit filming minors that's gross it says more about your idiocy <laughs> like disgusting that that's where your thought goes what are you doing with your kids
Shouldn't be your go-to, guys. Um, if you're interested in auditing, guys, again, reach out. We are at the San Diego Police Station. Uh, one of the very few that remain open to the public. And we are here in uh, Rancho Penasquitos. Rancho Penasquitos. So, um, I gotta give the police station itself like an A, A, almost A plus. The uh, detective sergeant who was about to throw down with the First Amendment and um, Fourth Amendment and everything all at the same time um, had that conversation gone on 30 more seconds. Um, he got a fail, but I think his fellow sergeants, plural, are going to talk to him um, and let him know that that was, you know, let's be careful. A day and age in cameras and um, everybody being recorded. So, um, San Diego Police Department, Northeastern Division, 13396 Salmon River Road. Um, you get an A for today, not the A+. Plus. You do get the A. Um, I had a really good experience with the two sergeants here and the gentleman behind the desk. Um, so that was, that was really cool. And we're going to call it a day here at the uh, San Diego Police Department, Northeastern Division, guys. Um, quite the experience. I don't know if I pushed that one, I think.